All right, it's been a whopping 119 days or almost four months since the last update. The reason I waited so long to do an update was because I wanted to see if the Joshua Tree would get a little bigger and more impressive. And as you can see, it's not really, it's marginally bigger. I think it has the same number of leaves. Uh, one that was kind of withering away back in the day from my last episode is already completely withered. And this thing is just growing as slow as molasses. I don't know what's wrong. I'll show you some footage from a few weeks ago where there was some, a little bit of hail. We had a lot of rainstorms, thunderstorms. And since I moved this pot to be full time on top of the observation deck instead of on the back uh, near the sliding door of the balcony, it's been getting some of that winter precipitation. So I don't know if the, the root rot is starting to come back or because as you can see with this kind of hail and sleet going on, um, it, if a lot of it blows over the balcony edge due to the wind, then the soil is going to get soaked. So I've noticed an upsurge of fungus gnats. This is again in the present day. It's uh, April 2nd, 2016. You know, we're back to standard uh, great weather in San Diego. No more rain. Everything's going to start drying up. But you know, I got some ginseng roots and I got some dwarf cavendish banana seeds and none of that stuff germinated I'm thinking I should you know still keep things simple but in the future for germination probably just do the wet paper towel method or some other kind of uh, mode or modicum where I can see what's going on before I throw a bunch of seeds in the soil and water and just wait forever and ever and have nothing happen that's basically what happened you know I, I know my YouTube channel has suffered in terms of not having a new plant series this year and it's already April but I'm hoping I can get some seeds or find some interesting things to grow and start some new series you know because this Joshua tree series wall it's the most popular one from my 2015 series basically it's not going anywhere fast maybe now that the weather is drier and I'm um, just watering sparingly once in a while top down like this uh, we can get things going again with growth now that it's uh, gonna be spring proper and summertime this will get a lot more sunlight per day and the Sun will also help dry out the soil and provide more of a natural environment compared to all those freakish uh, winter storms that dump a lot of uh, precipitation onto this sand soil mixture so as you can see, there's still not much to report. I hope uh, things really start to pick up with seasonality. And thank you for watching the series thus far. It's going to go on for a really long time. So stay tuned for future episodes. It's just that I might not have new episodes come out that frequently because there just simply isn't anything to really report on. And I'm not going to dig this thing up like I did um, early on.